looking across to the start, ahead in just turn, but the other 39 in line, Borderberg and Lanarai haven't quite haven't got in the front rank yet. Hard case over on the far side turn, so does uh, Preben Thur. Yes, they're running. And uh, Lucis has just dwelt a little bit at the start, but as they race towards the Melling Road, Inshore is right up there with Eaton Rouge and Sacred Path and Zardovich, West Tip towards the outside, but it's Inshore the leader from Sacred Path and on the inside, Eaton Rouge. Then comes Come By, Lanarai. On the outside, Little Polver going up to join him with Tullamarine and over to John Hanmer. And Inshore on the inside is in the lead from Sacred Path, then GA on the outside with Little Polvier and course under Atlanta Rise, right up with them, and Sacred Path has fallen at the first, and Hettinger has fallen at the first. Hettinger and Sacred Path and Tullamarine, the three fallers at the first. Meanwhile, Inshore is in the lead from Lana Rye, Big Brown Bear, then come by Alkier at the second, Eaton Rouge is next, Little Polvier, GA, the Zarevich and Brass Change, over the big ditch in front of us, and Big Brown Bear is in the lead. From Inshore, then Lana Rai, then come by Little Polvier, Eaton Rouge, then GA, the Zarevich, and last of the Brownies. And they're all over the third and over to Julian Wilson. Lana Rai in the centre of the course, blazing the trail. Inshore's right underneath the rails in the Fred Winter position. And Yo Welcome's rider has lost his arms and almost carried out course under us. They come to the one before beaches. Lana Rai over from Big Brown Baron Inshore. Behind those have come by and Eaton Rouge. Towards the outside is Little Polvia. GA is right towards the outside. The Zarovich is in good position as they come down towards Beatrice Brook. And your welcome's been pulled up and up front. It is Big Brown Bear at Beatrice. Big Brown Bear, Lanarai, Inshore, come by Eaton Rouge. All the leaders are over. Practically everything is over, Beatrice. In fact, I can't see. There's just a fall at the back. Marcola has gone at the back, and Lucesis has brought down at the back. And over the seventh, it's Big Brown Bear from Combi in second, then Malarai and Eaton Rouge, and GA on the outside of Inshore, then Little Polbier and the Tsarovich, then Borderberg and Reppington and Bright Dreams as they come to the canal turn. And at the canal turn, Big Brown Bear over from Combi in second, Lanarai is third, then Eaton Rouge and GA, then Inshore on the inside, then the Tsarovich and on the outside, Little Polvier and Borderberg as they jump Valentine's. Big Brown Bear come by Eaton Rouge. And Polly's power went at the previous one. And coming to the one after Valentine's is Big Brown Bear from Eaton Rouge. Come by Lanarai, then GA and Inshore, then Course Hunter and Borderberg and the Tsarevich and Durham edition as we rejoin John Hanmer. And Big Brown Bear in the lead from Lanarai, then Eaton Rouge, GA. Then comes Come By, Course Hunter, Little Polvia, and behind them in shore. Then Borderberg, Durham edition, the Zarevich, then Strands of Gold. And then Bright Dream, and no fallers at that one. And Lanarai now takes the lead. Lanarai from GA, then Big Brown Bear, then Eaton Rouge, Come By, Course Hunter, Little Polvia. Then comes in shore, Borderberg, Durham edition, the Zarevich, Strands of Gold. And Bucko then comes Reppington, Bright Dream. West tip, last of the brown is attitude adjust the brass change, and they're followed by hard case oid hills. And looking right back to the rear of the field, I can see Preben Fur and Memberson and friendly Henry. But as they go to the next fence, it's Lana Rye from GA and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, Lana Rye with the advantage from GA. G Armitage having a fantastic ride at the moment. On GA, just in behind them come Brig Barn Bear, then Little Paul Vare, well in the picture, and Course Hunter just in behind him, and Borderberg going well, inshore holding his position, come by two as they come down to this fence, and Lanarai lands in the lead from GA in second, then comes Course Hunter, then Big Brown Bear and inshore, then Little Paul Vare, behind them come Borderberg, and then Bucko making good ground. Then comes Durham Edition over this one, and it was Lanarai from Course Hunter and GA, and behind them come Big Brown Bear, come by in shore, Little Pulver, Eaton Rouge, then West Tippers made good ground, Durham Edition, Bucko. They're coming down now to the chair, and it's GA and Lanarai from Course Hunter on the far side, Little Pulver on the near side, Eaton Rouge comes next, then come by, then Durham Edition of the Zardovich going well and strands of gold, 
behind them, Bucko coming down to the water. Lana Rye in the lead from GA on the near side course under its third, fourth little pole bear. Five has come by, then Eaton Rouge. Then Big Brown Bear on the inside. Bucko improving on the outer. Zardovich is close. Behind the Zardovich is Strands of Gold. Then comes West Tip. Behind West Tip is Borderberg. They're racing now towards the Melling Road for the second time. Lana Rye, GA, Course Hunter, Little Pole Bear come by. Eaton Rouge, Dunham Edition, West Tip and Big Brown Bear. Then comes Strands of Gold. Bucko towards the outside. Lana Rye with the advantage from GA and over to John Hanmar. One making significant progress on the outside is Rhyme and Reason but it's Lana Rai from Course Hunter, GA, Little Palvia, then comes Kumbai. This is the 17th fence, and Lana Rai towards the inside, just in front of Course Hunter, then GA, Little Palvia, then Strands of Gold, Rhyme and Reason, Bucko, the Tsarevich, West Tip still right up there as they come to the 18th. Of course, Hunter on the near side, and the fall of a smart side at the previous fence, but he was a long way back. And as they come to the 19th, the open ditch, it's GA out in the centre of the course with little Palvia. Reffington's been pulled up. Then Strands of Girls over third, Bucko four, Ryman Reason five. Then Lana Rai, who's lost ground. Ethan Rouge only just got over there. Hard case has fallen. Mid Midnight Man is his tail right off. And pulled up is Northern Bay as they jump the next and over to Julian Wilson. GA and G Armitage are leading the Grand National field. Little Pole Bears with her. Towards the inside is Strands of Gold. Then it's Course Hunter. Towards the outside, Ryman Reason creeping closer. And on the inside, West Tip is getting much closer all the time as the leaders jump the one before beach. It's the 21st. And now it's Little Pole Bear in the center. Strands of Gold going really well on the inside. Course Hunter GA is dropping back a bit. And Ryman Reason's getting much closer as they come down to Beaches Brook for the second time. And at Beaches on the inside, Strands Strands of Gold and Strands of Gold is down. And little Polvia is in the lead, but he's got up again. A remarkable, of course, Hunter made a remarkable recovery, a terrible mistake. Come by as a faller, but of course, Hunter, who was on his knees, has got up again as they jump the 23rd. And little Polvia is clear from Ryman Reason in second. In third, now is Durham Edition. Then West Tips moved into fourth. Then last of the Brownies. Then GA and Attitude Adjuster. Behind those is Mononor. Behind Mononor is Course Hunter, who made that spectacular recovery at Beaches. Bright Dream was brought down at Beaches and over the canal turn is Little Polvia from Ryman Reason now second West Tip is third then Durham Edition then last of the Brownies going well Attitude Adjuster behind Attitude Adjuster is one and all and GA and Course Hunter as they jump that one Little Polvia and Tom Morgan still in front Ryman Reason is second Suggest has refused at the previous one West Tip is third then last of the Brownies creeping up to fourth then one and all and Durham Edition and Attitude Adjuster there seven at clear as we rejoin John Hammer Little Polvia fell and you hand it over, Julian, and go to the last ditch, four from home. Prime and Reason's been left in front of West Tip, then Mononor on the outside. Then last of the Brownies, Durham Edition, an attitude adjuster, and there's a long gap then to Course Hunter and another gap then to Borderberg. But going to the third last, it's Ryman Reason in the lead from West Tip, Mononor, then last of the Brownies. CNN has refused, but over the third last and a crashing fall there, from last of the Brownies, but as they go across the Menning Road with two to jump, it's Ryman Reason in the lead from West Tip, Mononor, Durham Edition, they're clear of attitude of Justin, who's well clear, brass changer fallen over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's Ryman Reason being chased by Mononor, just behind Mononor is Durham Edition and then West Tip. They're racing now towards the second last fence, and it's Ryman Reason with the advantage over Mononor and Durham Edition. About three lengths clear, Ryman Reason and Brendan Powell from Mononor on the far side. Durham Edition with the sheepskin nose band going well in third. Fourth is West Tip as they come down to this second last fence in the 1988 National. And Ryman Reason is clear. Ryman Reason jumps it. About three lengths clear of Dunham Edition, who's still improving though, and Dunham Edition with the sheepskin nose band towards the left is full of running and coming to take it up now. At the last, it's Dunham Edition and Chris Grant who've come to take it up from Ryman Reason. Dunham Edition lands in the lead. Ryman Reason jumps second. Third is Mononor, racing towards the elbow now. And Dunham Edition, written by Chris Grant for Arthur Stevenson, is clear of Ryman Reason, but Ryman Reason is challenging again. Ryman Reason is 
Rangers reducing his lead. Ryman Reason is cutting it down as they race into the final hundred yards. Over on the far side, it's not a position on the near side. It's Ryman Reason. Ryman Reason is beginning to get up. He's going to win it as they come to the line. Ryman Reason has won the national. Second is Gunnar Edition. Third is Bonanno. And fourth will be West Chip. Just ahead of Attitude of just a five. And sixth came Friendly Henry, the horse who never won a race and who's run the most gallant race to be sixth. But this is the winner we're looking at. Brendan Powell, 27 years old, on his second Grand National ride. The marvellous edition of the 150th anniversary Seagram Grand National, for which the official result is first. Number two, Ryman Reason, owned by Miss Juliet Reed, trained by David Ellsworth and written by Brendan Powell. Second was number six, Durham Edition, owned by Mr. Robert Oxley, trained by Arthur Stevenson and written by Chris Grant. And third was number 14, Mona Noor, owned by Full Circle Racing. What a fantastic run he gave them. Trained by Bill Harney in Ireland and written by Tom Taff. And fourth was the previous hero, West Tip, written by Richard Dunwoody. Here is the winner, Ryman Reason, whose owner, Juliet Reed, was so worried at the thought of him coming here, was very apprehensive.